being the best forest trader in South Africa is a number based thing on social media. I want you to think about what I'm about to tell you right now. It's just a number based thing. It's not based on skill. It's not based on skill, guys. Right, not based on skill. It's just based on social media. I'm going to tell you why. And I'm going to tell you the reason why I think of, of the entire thing, you know. Like, guys, we all know, like, most of you guys here on YouTube who are still new to my YouTube, you can go through my past through my past videos, I'm the first forest trader. I'm the first forest trader here in South Africa to talk about perfumes. I'm the first forest trader to to enlighten people about perfumes, to tell them how the perfumes work. I've been doing perfum like for almost three years now, like talking about perfumes on my social media, telling people how do they work, how do they do, how does it all go about in terms of perfumes and all those stuff. I've been preaching pro from now they are popping up. So there are these gurus on Instagram and all those stuff who are now talking about pro from two years later. What I've been talking about pro from for the past two years. But who get the deals? Like who gets sponsorship on YouTube? Who gets sponsorship on 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 these pro from who who this pro from sponsors on their videos? These guys. Not me, the founder, like the person who actually the pioneer behind the perfume industry. It's because it's a numbers game, guys. It's not based on skill and knowledge. It's just a numbers game. Um, you know what? What people like, what perfume industry look at, they just look at your numbers on Instagram. Okay, this guy has hundred k followers. Uh, uh, this kind of subscribers. Okay, let's him let let's sponsor him. The same as. The clients, they just look at the numbers. It's okay. This guy has uh, uh, this kind of this kind of followers and this kind of subscribers, so they follow him. It's not just on skill, cause if it was on skill, like we'd be fair that past. Cause most of these things that I come up with are just coming up on my on my head. That like I don't follow anyone. It's something is my idea. It's just. An original idea and I share it here on social media and the great thing I shared it all with my mother tongue this is like I talk about the entire thing from Quasimodo so from binary option from a lot of stuff that I've shared that are just my ideas I have never stolen any ideas so it's just a numbers game a numbers game and there's a lot of cloud chasing if you can just look at the beef between uh, FS goods and and Andy, where he exposes how do they they run their business is that they used to buy cars, pull down, and all those stuff. That's how you become a dope trader in South Africa, basically. So then, how they really mastered the art of actually becoming a first mentor in South Africa is pulling up stands. If you are not pulling up stands, you're gonna be on the cloud like me, on the dark, and nobody's gonna acknowledge you with the the amount of energy and the amount of efforts. And the amount of knowledge you actually pull out uh, uh, in actually serving people. Because some of my videos, guys, some of my videos, when I look at them, like, I get, like, 500 views. And when I'm looking at the video, like, looking at the knowledge that I've shared, like, it's out of this world. But in terms of, like, I don't have a lot of crowd, it really frustrates me not getting the amount of, of, of views. Because I've just shared a life-changing thing. Where someone can just make a trend line video and get almost 100,000, you know. So, it's the numbers game, guys. It's a numbers game. So, FS Gold really mastered the numbers game. Most mentors, not just them. Most mentors mastered the numbers game. You know what they do is, they always sing for attention. And the only way they can sing... For attention is not by skill because they are not skillful traders. They're going to sink for attention by actually buying flashy cars, buying material things for you to follow them. For, for them to actually get followers, they really need to be flashy. They need to be flashy. So they're going to try everything and buy as many cars. Like how many times have you, have you heard of 11 cars, car number 11, car number 17? It's just a stand, guys. They're just pulling out the stand. And the skill is not there. The skill is not there. The skill is not there. So this is how the first game really like works 
if you're just a skillful trader and you do, you are not flashy and all those stuff, no one is actually gonna care about your work. Honestly speaking, nobody's gonna care about you. Nobody's gonna uh, root for you. A very few people will actually be lucky enough to actually see. Oh man, I'm so blessed to actually have this guy on my Facebook or or YouTube or and all those stuff. So the industry man is a mess. The forest industry is a mess. Basically, what happened in the forest industry is a mess. It's a real mess. It's not just them. There's a lot of guys who are pulling a stunt, but behind closed doors and behind the scenes, they are actually struggling, guys. You can look at their work. They are struggling in terms of trading. They wouldn't. They wouldn't trade even if their life depending on depended on that. So, hey, guys, there's so many stuff. There's so many stuff that I've just been looking that I came up with. Like the fifty dollar to a uh, hundred dollar was my idea. There's a video I did here on YouTube. It was four months ago. I did that video. I did perform two years ago. There's a link. There's a video there that I was talking about perform, trying to make people understand. And everybody thought that oh, this is a scam. It's too good to be true and all those stuff. But I haven't got my flowers up until today. I haven't even got one sponsorship because of. Forex, it's a numbers game. Basically, you just need to have a lot of followers on Instagram and just have a fancy car and wrap it up with gold or green, whatever color you like, and then you're gonna get sponsorship. But if, in terms of like mastering your craft and becoming a better trader and think you're gonna get sponsorship, just forget about it. You have to have followers to be a dope trader. That's how people rate you, that's how brokers rate you. Followers equal equal being dope. So a lot of things that that I've saw, like I've literally saw, but I I, I wasn't interested because you get those texts where people wanna create fake followers for you and all those stuff. But I don't. I've never been that kind of person who wants to have a, a fake crowd and all those stuff to be out there. I'm just gonna do things on my own pace. But I just wanna tell you guys, I can see what is happening. I can see what. How the industry is moving, how these guys are moving. Like like Andy says, like they are always done. They're not buying cars for themselves to make themselves happy. Like he said, when they bought the other cars, they're gonna get a lot of clients. They are doing it for you guys. But I didn't buy my cars for you guys. So I bought my car because I needed a car to make myself happy. So the industry is a mess. It's a numbers based game numbers based game on industry like on instagram and all those stuff so tell me what you think guys tell me what you think tell me what you think and how do you feel about this entire thing